All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you set up a data source. This is uh, going to go rather quickly. It's a very short video, but we'll explain it. You have a query. Let's say we have this query here called car train. And this, when I run this report, it basically gives me a list of employees and what course title and what training reason they need it for. Um, and if they did complete it, the completion date. All right, so a simple query called uh, what was it called again? Car, tra car train, right? Car train for career training. All right, so this is in your demo database, and you can follow along with this too. Once you have that, you can simply go and create your data source. Okay, so our query here is our data source. So now we go over to XML Publisher Data Source, and we're going to add a new data source. When you click on Add a New Data Source, you have to choose what type. There's three types you can choose from, connected query, a PeopleSoft query, or an XML file. In this case, we're just a simple query, and then we're going to enter our data source ID, we're gonna, which is going to be car train. Click on Add, and you'll have to give it a description, and choose an object owner. You don't have to, but just whatever. Um, and then what you're going to be able to do is once you do this, you generate, click on the generate link for sample data file and generate for sample schema file and you'll see that it automatically generates the XML file for you, which is a sample file. Now this, save that, and then you're going to take this particular XML file and you are going to, uh, you're going to grab that XML file and put it to your hard drive and use it in the template that you're going to create. 